About a day ago, I released this video, the new NFT Art Engine 2.0. In this video, we discuss the new Art Engine in depth and I show you how to build it out from scratch. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can simply download a template and start using the Art Engine without writing all that code. Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome back to my channel where today we are going to look at the Art Engines template. To follow along, make sure you have Node.js installed. Also, you need an IDE. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. You can download this too. And if you want to use source control, cloning this stuff from GitHub, then you can install Git as well. The template repo is this one. It is the Art Engine template and you can find it at this URL. Now, before we clone this, it's important for us to know to have these videos sync with the code, we create these tags. You can simply click on one of these tags and currently we have one. This tag is YT-1. This video, we will discuss whatever is present at this current state in time. As videos continue, we might add other tags. So when we download code, we would preferably download the code that's attached to this tag. Usually, when you want to get the latest version of the code, you would go to code, copy this URL and use git to clone this to your machine. Alternatively, you can also just download the zip if you don't know how to use git. But as I mentioned, we need to download the tags. So there are two options for us to do so. If you don't want to use git, you can simply go to the tag, then go and download the zip file. This will download the art engine after downloading, you can extract the file. I have extracted this to my desktop and this is how it looks. Here is the whole template. Now the alternative way of getting this on your machine is with Git. The alternative way is to go back to the template, go and copy this HTTPS URL. And then in a terminal, let's just make sure that we go to our desktop. And in the desktop, what we're going to say is Git clone dash b and then the tag name which is yt it actually stands for youtube dash one and paste that whole url now we can hit enter this will clone that repository and that tag so let's wait for this here it already is on the desktop and once this is done you should also have the project you will find this detach head message this just has to do with some source control but that is fine because you are not going to commit back to this repository. Whichever way you get the art engine template, it's up to you. What's important is that we now can open it in Visual Studio Code. Open Visual Studio Code, click on open, and now let's go and find this repository. There we go. Now, the first thing that we'll need to do is install all the dependencies. So at the top, create a new terminal. And in here, you can either run npm i, well, all lowercase, or you can just run yarn, if you have yarn installed on your machine. Now, talking about dependencies and actually this whole template, it's highly recommended that you actually watch this first video in the playlist. In this video, we actually go through using the art engine. This video simply discusses how to get the template. So I highly recommend watching that. And now we can see our project structure, which looks exactly the same as the previous video that we have built out. We have a index.js file, and here is the entire art engine. So now you don't have to kind of write all these things out. You can simply just change the fields and take away things that you don't need. And this is why the template exists, so that we don't have to have people type this out and make errors along the way. Great, so now you can configure your collection and put in your data and run it. But how do we run it? Well, in the terminal, we have two options. We can say node index.js and hit enter. This should run the art engine, create our cache files like we've seen in the previous video and the output folder. Alternatively, we have included the start command so how you can run that is simply by going to your terminal and typing in yarn start. 
or npm run start. Whatever the case might be, you can run it like that as well. So this is how the art engine template works and it provides you a way to download and use the art engine without typing out all this code. All you need to do is download the template, configure it and then run the engine to have your images. Now keep in mind that our art engine is an alpha stage and bugs might be present. But I do hope that you have some fun and that you have an amazing day. Cheers for now.